For some of people who are in a little bit of a tight space, or maybe you just don't quite have the budget or go for the, the tower yet, these devices are an awesome option in order to get an HF or Yagi antenna or what have you up on your up on your roofs. Yeah. This is James, November Zero Whiskey Radio Lima. I'm here with Ron Jones. I saw this when I was walking by, and I knew that I had to get an interview with you because for some of people who are in a little bit of a tight space or maybe you just don't quite have the budget or go for the the tower yet these devices are an awesome option in order to get an hf or yagi antenna or what have you up on your up on your roof yeah so maybe you could tell me a little bit more about what we're looking at here okay well years ago a guy named glenn martin was doing a tower like this and this is an evolution of it but much stronger so you might start with why you would do use one i mean yeah, why would you use this? Well, for one thing, you got the height of the roof to start. So you got that to go for you. Then you got a natural buffer, so you get good sky action. Height is might, as they say. Height is might. Yeah. And this thing bolts into the roof. You want to go into the rafters. We have other methods we're working on, but that's the main way to do it. Right. You want to make it, it's all about security. Right. High wind, this is made for windy conditions to last forever. Made of three eighths low and it's very strong stuff. Uh, it'll take a, a mass to go, what, 10, 12 feet above the, the top? Wow. Uh, depending on what's up there, it's all about wind load and what the size of the antennas you're putting up there are. Interface. Uh, it can have a rotator. What got to Yeah, This is a thrust bearing. It can have, this is a rotator done. Um, we got a rotator oh, all here. And if you went over here, you can see the, the rotator here in the four foot version. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, this is a six foot model. You were just looking at the four foot model. We also make two different eight foot models. I can't tell you how many people come by and just love it. People, everybody who's bought one loves it. It's a yeah. great option. Not everybody knows about the fact that you can put a roof tower. Yeah, that, that's the thing. And, and like, I don't want to move it too much, but it doesn't feel too heavy. I mean, it's sturdy, but it doesn't feel like it's going to put too much strain on the roof. No, what, I don't know what the weight is, 50 pounds or something. Yeah, and, and it's, in fact, you can tilt it. You got swivel feet. So whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> that'll make good video. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So when you need to, you want to change a tower or main, it'll change antenna. You can, it'll tilt in place. That is amazing. It's a nice feature too. Yep. Yeah. And so how do you, um, how do you go about installing one of these? Uh, well, the number it depends on, it all depends on what kind of roof. Now, I should say they can also go on the ground. Right. This guy who's coming tomorrow to do a satellite presentation. He put his on a concrete pad on the ground. So it says roof tower, but they could go anywhere. So in terms of putting it on a roof, you start by asking what kind of roof it's on. There's flat roofs, there's sloped roofs, there's single, so on. Like you see here in this picture, this guy's on a flat roof. He's not on this roof here. He's on the flat part of this roof. Yeah, most people are on shingled roof. That's what I would have. I have the shingle and I've kind of got that point. And yeah, on the, the roof, peak. straddling the peak is the best way to go. Best way to go. And then you want to get into the rafters. That's the, that, that's the primary way to do it. We're working on non-penetration systems, but for now, into the rafter you hire a pro because you don't mess around with the roof and you want this thing strong it's got to be waterproof any solar guy any roofer knows how to do it and a lot of do-it-yourselfers a lot of these guys know all their stuff to do. yeah i i'd be kind of the type of person that i would probably get out and a lot of people do it and, and do it as yeah long as you know what you're doing and you're harvest and you can yeah you don't mess exactly. around the roof yeah yeah you don't yeah i mean you don't want to be falling off a roof no, it's don't. just not worth it it's not just worth do it do it the right way yeah do it right yeah Pay the price, so to speak, and yeah, yeah and get it solid. You'll have a fifty be up there for fifty years. Now, and how do you guys think about? Um, I guess depending, you, you know, you don't want to put too much weight on your roof at the same time. That, but I mean, most roofs roofs are probably pretty. Have you guys? Well, I mean, how do you guys think about that? You know? Well, it rarely comes up. I mean, you don't you don't want to put it on an old roof you're about to replace. Right. The newer the roof, the better, and you want a good strong roof, no doubt about it. But. In terms of, if you got a decent roof, I don't think the weight of the thing's ever is really an issue at all. That's great. As far as island, I've never heard it. Probably. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to go nuts with it, right? You know, because you you put your your uh, your antenna up there too. You don't. Well, terms of how much you put up is the wind load factor. Because you you can have more than one antenna up there. In fact, this thing will hold a broadcast TV antenna. It'll hold a Starlink, a weather station. It's a tower. I mean, you could put luck. But how many things you put on is a function of wind load. Right what your wind is you know if you're in a windy area 
how much square footage the t all the stuff up there is. Yeah, and this, that it's an engineering calculation to wind load. Now these are called Carlson roof towers. As for those people who are watching, they may want to order one of these. How do they get in touch with you? How do they order? Where do they get it? Let's start with rooftowers.com. That's our roof that tower. Our, that's our URL. That's pretty easy to remember. Rooftowers.com. Okay. And there's a how to order page there. Usually, Jim here, who's the uh, the founder of the company and the, and the head of it, he's the brains behind this. He's the engineer, and usually the, the person who wants to buy has a bunch of questions. So it usually involves a direct call with Jim. Sometimes it's just by email. Yeah, a lot of people know what exactly what they want, and they and we can you know we're setting up a uh, online ordering system. We're not quite there yet. We can order yeah. through PayPal. I mean, PayPal credit card. Send us a chat. But hey, it's easy. We'll shoot you guys a message. You guys will get it taken care of. Where are you guys based out of? Jim is in Michigan. That's where he, that's where they're fabricated. He shipped from Michigan. I happen to be from California, but uh, doesn't matter where you are these days in terms of doing business. Well, this is an awesome product. I mean, I've been looking for something exactly like this, so I'm so glad that you guys are doing it. I'm getting, I'm guessing a lot of you guys at home have also been looking for something like this. And it's also... I don't know, I almost want to say it's like lower commitment than going for the tower too, because you could also move it. I mean, that's a big advantage of what you're doing when you're uh, when you're putting in a big concrete base into a tower. You could get this and then you could move and you could move this with you. I mean, it gives you a lot of flexibility. I really I really like that flexibility. You could take it out, you could, or you could sell the house with it. But yeah, you could take it out, patch up the holes. Yeah. yeah. No biggie. It can be done. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. We've helped over 60,000 students get their US FCC amateur radio license, and we can help you too, no matter your age or educational background. Go to www.hamradioprep.com and try a free lesson today.